Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed. We have a good time on this channel. Now, as I listen by the title, today's video is going to be hygiene tips I wish I knew sooner. I have picked up so much. Oh my god, a lot along the way, especially growing up. You learn so much about hygiene. You learn so much about taking care of your body, especially as a woman. So I'm going to be rolling this in different parts so you can put all of them together as you go, okay? I also have different routines lined up for you guys. I will roll out those videos very soon. But anyway, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Hygiene tip number one, I wish I knew sooner. Tongue scrapers. I only found about tongue scrapers about three, four years ago, and uh, it's a game changer in my oral care. Now, I've never been one to struggle with bad breath, but I have definitely, oh my god, significantly seen a difference in my oral care ever since I incorporated tongue scrapers. Listen, if you struggle with bad breath, it is usually, usually not your teeth, but your tongue. You should not be that person walking on the street with crusty white tongue, okay? Don't be that person. Scrape your tongue today. You can get there for as low as one dollar, even less than one dollar, depending on where you get them from. In line to tongue scraping, my number two hygiene tip: lip scrub and the lip scrubber. So the lip scrub is pretty much the paste, like the scrub itself, and then they also have lip scrubber. I don't know if everyone knows about this. And the lip scrubber, I feel like it's a universal tool because I know my friend says she uses it for her mask as well which i pretty much can see how she can do that because i don't know anyway it's a lip scrubber and a lip scrub you guys if you want soft luscious pink lips scrub your lips and do not scrub your lips every day you want to use a scrub that contains essential oils especially vitamin e oil third one be careful with shaving i grew up with shaving oh my god like i think i stopped shaving maybe five years ago and uh, i can tell you from experience be very careful with shaving because it can lead to irritation it can lead to bumps and most of all it can lead to darkening of that area if you are not shaving properly you can still go ahead and shave i know there are a lot of people that still shave now and they're good you want to use as many blades in a stick as possible i'll recommend starting from four blades up i don't know about three blades i know there are people that use three blades and they're like oh it's good i don't shave okay i do not shave any area of my body i just cannot i have stopped if you must if you must 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 shave always make sure to use a conditioner or a shaving cream a subtle one and as well as a shaving stick that contains four or more blades in it honestly an alternative to shaving for me would be using hair removal creams or waxing i prefer waxing i love waxing because it takes out the hairs from the roots and it also takes a longer time for it to grow back so i'll definitely recommend waxing or using hair re removal cream fourth tip reduce how long in a day you wear your leggings and your ties and how often in general you wear those tight leggings those tight tights you guys you want to give your girlies as much air as they can get okay and most of these tights and leggings are actually not real cotton and you know it so we're not giving the girls as much air as they actually require to stay fresh and to stay clean and to stay healthy i don't know how some people sleep with leggings but you shouldn't be sleeping with leggings okay you shouldn't be sleeping with anything that is not going to give you air and if you don't get air you're gonna get musty you're gonna get dry you're gonna get irritated you're gonna get a whole lot of gunk and infection that you don't need okay fifth one i know i talk about self-care and part of my self-care routine is to take baths but sis we have to be careful with the baths that we take you know we have those baths we use like bath bombs salts and all that you know self-care skin pampering type products yeah and we're also naked in those baths don't forget that okay listen from experience you need to be careful how many times you take baths and also the products you use there because it could go up and you know what happens when it goes up we're gonna have problems and we don't want problems i probably take baths maybe say once or twice a week and that's because it's part of self-care to me i like to unwind and have like a nice bath but usually i don't put a lot of products in my bath most of the time i just use a bath gel which is like the foaming gel and stuff and i don't really use bath bombs and salt all the time i probably use it like once in two months and that's because i know what those products could do to your lady area so i try to stay away from them as much as i can and i'm going to tell you guys to do the same because those products they have perfumes they have oils they have all that kind of stuff that could go in there when you're soaking okay so we just want to be careful sixth one body butters oh my god body butters are a game changer take it from me today okay body lotions are good but body butters whoo the best if you want to ever lock in moisture into your skin you want that rich 
glowy skin invest in good body butters body butters are a combination of oils and butter and you already know the combination of those two fire you leave your skin supple smooth i will never forget the first time i use a body butter and i'm like where have i been i do have dry skin and for me it's like oh that light bulb moment it was amazing it's a thicker formula and it's definitely good for all skin types it doesn't matter if you're dry if you're oily combination whatever body butters are simply amazing seventh one if you sweat a lot sis if you sweat a lot Please go with antiperspirant rather than regular deodorant. I added this one in here because I've seen situations like this before and I know what helps them. If you sweat a lot, please always reach for antiperspirant. Don't go for your regular deodorants because it smells nice. Please go for the ones that can actually help with the sweat. Regular deodorants are known from fighting just odor and not necessarily sweat. Antiperspirant will fight the sweat. Eighth one. Eighth one is a little bit tricky but very efficient, right? I discovered this about two years ago. Whenever you go for number two and you want it squeaky clean, opt for baby wipes rather than toilet paper. It's not really good for your toilet. I mean like throwing baby wipes in there, but it is efficient, it gets the job done and it makes me feel fresh, so I'm going to do it. I know they have like specific wipes for, you know, back there but i don't really like those because i feel like the stuff the wipes are usually kind of i don't know they break every time i use them so i just don't bother with them i prefer baby wipes and also baby wipes usually don't have like strong chemicals and all that kind of stuff in them and i just like how you know clean it is while all these other ones i feel like they add other things that just kind of mix their feel weird whenever i'm using it okay that's why i offer baby wipes they are natural most of the time and good for your back there okay ninth one ninth one is one that i recently incorporated into my hygiene routine and that is dry brushing i really didn't like dry brushing before well i didn't get the concept of dry brushing before because i was just like that's going to hurt i was like what could that possibly do for me right i want to start incorporating this like a few months ago into my routine and i am obsessed i am in love for me i noticed that it's not just the fact that it smoothings out my skin but also it helps with cellulite and it's a form of lymphatic drainage because it just feels like that whenever i dry brush right it just kind of smoothings out the skin as well as massages my skin and all that kind of stuff i really love dry brushing they're dealing with rough bumpy skin you know strawberry legs all that kind of stuff dry brush it will save you a ton you will thank me later now the brushes are also not as hard as i thought it would be because that was my main fear for not doing it earlier i'm just like why would i just torture myself but when i started dry brushing i understood the assignment okay i understood why dry brushing is essential in your routine i would definitely definitely highly recommend you dry brush now the last one for today's video is oils i have spoken about oils i feel like i've spoken about oils like a million times like in every hygiene video i make i think i talk about oils right because oils are essential in your skincare routine listen if you're not either using oils on its own on your skin or mixing it in your lotion you are behind i'm just telling you that today you are behind it's not just about the moisture that it locks in your skin but it's also the fact that it makes your perfumes or perfume oils that use on your skin last longer that is the oh that is the mind-blowing thing about using oils if you want to test this out take oil put a little on your arm spray perfume there and just test it see how long it's going to last then imagine doing that all over your body oh if you're not adding oils to your skincare routine you're sleeping you are sleeping that's pretty much everything i have for part one i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below follow me on instagram if you're not following me already subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed thank you guys so 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 much and i will see you in my next one